Hi there and welcome to this Canvas Essentials course. This course is designed to give you a brief uh, introduction to the most important features of the Canvas Learning Management System to help you with the design and delivery of your own courses. You'll get opportunities to practice in your own Canvas sandbox spaces uh, playing around with Canvas. You'll get opportunities to read more about some of the different Canvas features. And also you'll get to discuss with some of your fellow instructors in this course about how to apply what you're learning in Canvas to your own courses. I hope uh, you'll find it fun and interesting and not too stressful or overwhelming. <laughs> Let's start with looking at this home page for our course, uh, just to give you an idea about how to navigate our course space. This home page has a very prominent start here, <laughs> Panda. Panda is the sort of unofficial mascot for Canvas. And you click this to start our course, but before I click that, let me tell you a little bit more about this front page area. On the right, you'll see a right sidebar with some to-do items. It might remind you of any assignments or activities you need to work on. On the left, you'll see this course navigation menu with uh, areas like the announcements and modules, your grades, and so on. And then there's this global navigation menu on the far left, and I just mainly want to point out two items here. There's the account item. I really recommend that you go here to click on account and then click on profile and then you can upload a picture of yourself so that when you're discussing things with other people in the discussion boards they'll be able to see uh, your icon instead of just a generic user icon. Secondly I want to point out this help button. If you click on that you can click this ask your instructor a question to ask your facilitators any questions you have or chat with Canvas support or call IT support or search the Canvas guide. Since you're learning about Canvas yourself, this might be a, an extra good resource for you to search and learn about how to do things in Canvas. And just scrolling below the Start Here link too, you'll understand these links below uh, a little better after you've become more familiar with the course. These have quick links to the four primary modules in this course, along with quick links to information about your facilitators, a checklist of everything you need to do in your own Canvas sandbox, a collected guidebook that collects all the pages with information about Canvas that we have in this course. And then there's a help form where you can go to post any questions for the facilitators or others uh, to answer. So let's click here to, uh, on the Start Here Panda <laughs> to jump to the Orientation module. Now we're on the, orient the uh, Modules page of this course. As you can see, it looks sort of like a table of contents for the entire course, and that's really exactly what it is. It's divided into modules, like an orientation module, then module one, module two. And within each module are different items that can include pages such as these. Here's that help form I mentioned before. And in the main content modules, the main four content modules, there's some pages, but then there's three activities in each module for you to do. Uh, first though, you want to click on this welcome start here link if you have not before uh, already done that and go through each of these pages in the orientation module then you're ready to start the actual course where you can read the introduction to each module skim through this canvas essentials guidebook that has links to different pages about different features of canvas in this first week you need to pick your own canvas sandbox space and add the facilitators to it and the designer role so that they can access it and see what you're doing in your own Canvas sandbox. And you'll see another video that shows how to do that uh, under the first assignment. Then here again, there's three graded activities that are in each module. There's a quiz, a multiple choice quiz. You can have this guidebook open in a separate tab if you want while you're taking the quiz, and you'll have multiple opportunities to retake the quiz if you need. And here's the main assignment that you do each week. This is, again, it will give you instructions on what to do in your own Canvas Sandbox space. And you'll submit the, the URL or link to your Canvas Sandbox space as part of this assignment so that we can go in and look at your sandbox and see what you've been doing. And finally, the third uh, activity, which actually you may want to do first in this first module, is uh, a discussion activity. This first module, you just want to introduce yourself and talk about what your goals are for this course. Uh, in, this, in the second, third, and fourth module, so you'll see different discussion activities that discuss the topics for each of those modules. As you're going through these modules, you'll see check boxes appear on the right-hand side next to the requirements for each module. Let me, for example, click on this navigating this course page, for example. And that shows, uh, again, instructions on navigating this course. I'm going to go back to modules here in the course navigation menu. And now you see a little green checkbox, so it shows that I've read that page. So again, you want to read through all those. You'll see these turn into green checkboxes too as you meet these requirements for the assignments each week. 
like scoring a, a, at least a certain score on each of the assignments. Remember, as you're going through this course, uh, don't feel too stressed out. The facilitators will help you with any questions or any problems that you run into. Remember, you can click this help button too to ask your instructor a question or go to the help forum to ask for help. I, again, I hope you have fun with this course and good luck with uh, building your Canvas courses.